this section of the supermarket absolutely scares me. My daughter has just become a vegetarian and so now it's a whole new level of learning that we need to adapt to. So I thought that I would share with you our progress in case anyone else is going through the same thing and some of the challenges that we are facing and just some things along the way. So this is one of the food shops that we did. Uh, we got some wedges because some nights you just need uh, an easy side. We got these V2 meats. We've got schnitzel here. I got three packets uh, because they are a soy based. They're not pea protein. So that is important because apparently the pea protein does not have a very good taste, at least for her. And I got these popcorn bites as well. I got all of this in one shop because it was a spend... Um, 50 or 70 dollars or more for the flybys account so that's what i did i got two packets of these plant-based chicken nuggets and again on the side here that they have they have a soy protein we also have some orange juice because she can drink that not a problem we got a packet of snakes because these are the only lollies that don't have like some set preservative thing in it i can't remember what it is but we bought them also because this whole packet was on clearance for like $3 or something. So I picked up those. I've also picked up these burger buns because they don't have on the line there may contain traces of tree nuts, which some of the other bread products do. I know that may contain traces of nuts and does have nuts are two separate things. But when you're dealing with other anxiety and stuff, we just go with the safe option for now. So I've talked about it previously before. So we're just doing what we can control right now. We've got some pink lady apples. They are my daughter's favorite. Also, she really loves in the Asian store, these dumplings. We have some vegetarian ones and then there is these kimchi ones. And from Audi is these triangle tempters. There is at least 12 in a packet sometimes there's more just depends how big they are so these are the chicken schnitzels you get four in a packet and they're a pretty decent size actually too so I'm really happy with them and it's always good when we can get some broccoli and cauliflower marked down so this is a pretty standard dinner my daughter's plate is always the gray plate that we know uh, which is who is when we're serving we got these plant-based meatballs and unfortunately it's a no from us we did cook one lot but um, my daughter said they're very dry so I'm going to look at cooking them maybe in a um, pasta type sauce later down the track we'll see how they go but yeah they were pretty dried out so yeah back to the standard schnitzel <laughs> with some homemade chips the plant-based chicken nuggets my daughter said that she enjoyed them and then looking on the side again is where it has that it is with soy protein You'll see the nuggets coming up later, but these are the triangles with the wedges and the veggies on the side. I make my daughter a crustless quiche and I need to use the lactose free cream as well. So when I see it on clearance, I'll often pick it up. So it's just six eggs with the thing of cream. I will put in their grated zucchini, sometimes carrot, just depends, frozen corn. Mix it all together with about half a cup of flour and then into the oven it bakes for about 40 minutes. And then on the side is just chips and veg. This will do four different servings and I have to be really strict and say to her she needs to keep it for a dinner only. And then that way I can make sure that it gets stretched out. Here's some more of the V2 meal. So these are the burger patties and she does enjoy those which is really good. And this is the mince. Now this mince is very thirsty. So you do need quite a few cans of for the diced tomatoes or some extra liquid in there. So just a heads up. And these chicken tenders are really good as well. So luckily we had stockpiled a fair bit of these because some weeks they are very hard to find in store. So this is just one of our standard dinners that we have. We've got a chicken a patty up the top for my son, a panko chicken for myself, two beef burger things for hubby and the plant base to the bottom left hand corner and then we just have burgers every now and again because they're quite an easy meal. Here's another one of the beef free mints. I got this because it was a markdown and it cooked up just as well as the other one and as you can see here I've thrown in some mixed veg. I got a whole packet of frozen mixed veg that has corn 
and carrots and peas much to my daughter's dismay and I did pick out as many peas as I could but as you can see there's a couple in there so I said to my daughter if she finds any then she's the lucky winner she wasn't very impressed with that but still I will often cook one or two packets together because it is just easier to do everything in a really big bulk cooking because this way if we're busy for dinner or we're having something completely different that's taking a bit more time and effort then she can just have a little bit of that with some pasta that she cooks herself for any leftover I will just put it in a container and throw it in the fridge and then it's sitting there ready but I also make a lasagna for her the lasagna with the white sauce I do here that has oat milk and so then it's uh, lactose free as well and then the lasagna makes three serves so we've just got the chips here I'm sure that the veggies were to the side I just didn't get them in for the shot this pasta is a favorite this is a mushroom and white truffle and on the packet it actually said to cook it with a garlic type sauce butter so that's what she did for this one also this one the pumpkin and feta ravioli i got this on a markdown as well and this one from cole's spinach and something whatever it is we had this while we were away in melbourne it cooked up really easily which is good of course this is one of our favorite desserts i just threw it in there an apple crumble all it is is stewed apples with a mix of flour and sugar and a little bit of butter mixed on top we tried this plant based beef brisket it wasn't a favorite it dried out pretty quickly so could be a thing to think about trying again in the future to wrap it up in some foil and try and keep a little bit more moisture in there I'm not really sure but showing you hubby and I had real beef Our son had chicken nuggets and my daughter had that brisket there we've also had these beef free strips she really enjoyed them she cooked them up with some barbecue sauce and then just had them with the veggies on the side and also these meat free steaks she said she enjoyed these as well everything that's vegan or vegetarian just you cook it a little bit less because it doesn't have as much water content in it so we're finding how to cook things and we're learning along the way so I just thought that I would share with you all of the things that we've learned so far and cooked and what we think about them we're still learning and discovering so thank you for joining with me and I look forward to seeing you next time bye